this is the first uh, first lesson in my new she shed. I finally finished the shed. If you go back a couple posts a month or two ago was when I was building this thing and now it's done. So now there's going to be less dog interference, less kid interference, and better banjo lessons. So this lesson came as a request from one of my patrons, Joe. So thank you, Joe. This one's a great idea. This lesson is about walking into the next chord the way a guitar or a bass often does, but it works great on the banjo and is a really nice little embellishment sometimes, um, as well as having a very practical use, which is to help other people in the jam who maybe they don't know the chord changes so well, um, helps them to hear what chord is coming next. And that can be really great. You get to be the hero. So today we'll just go over G, C, and D. Those are the ones that are most likely to come up. And here's the breakdown. First one we'll be doing is this walk up from G up to C. It's very simple stuff, but very, very useful. So I'll just play through what we're going to be doing and then break it down. Just land on C and roll however you want to from there. So all this little walk up is, is I'm doing a quick grace note. So these are like back to back notes, second to third string. I'm using index to thumb. And then you're going to go to the 2nd fret 3rd string, pick that with your thumb. 4th fret 3rd string, pick that with thumb as well. And then you can land on your C chord. Another really nice way to indicate that you're moving down from G to C um, is not a walk up per se, but it's just playing the G7. So if you're rolling on G, All you need to do is play a quick G7 before landing on the C. So G7 is, you can do, get that at the third fret fourth string. And I like to do this roll four, four, two, four, three, two. That sounds really nice on G7. And then you can land on the C chord and do whatever roll it is that you want to do for that tune. All right, next one we'll work on going from C to D. And there's two ways you can do that also that I like to do that, and one is going lower and landing on the lower end of D, and one is when you want to land in the higher register on D. So the first one, the lower one, sounds like this. I'm going from C down to D. So again, you're just rolling on C, however it is that you may be doing that, and then you're going to do a quick grace note third string with your index finger down to third fret four and you'll pick that with your thumb. Second fret four, pick that with thumb. First fret four, pick it with thumb. And then I like to land on the D chord with that open fourth string that completes the walk down. And you can do, you know, a similar roll to what I had for, um, for the G7. Four, four, two, four, three, four. That works really great with that open fourth string. The second way I like to walk from C into D, and again this is going higher, going to the upper register of D, would sound like this. So forth and so on, whatever rolls you want to be using, but the basic lick sounds like this. So I've got just the upper half of the C chord, don't need to be fretting the fourth string. And actually to start the roll, you'll just take your index finger off, play two, one, five. Put index finger back on where it belongs on the C chord, first fret, second string. Play one and two together. Put your middle finger down on the second fret, second string. You still have ring finger on second fret first. Play one and two together. And then you can land on your D chord and do whatever roll you want. doesn't really matter what roll. That walk up will get you to the higher register on D. Walking back into G um, really works the same for either C or D. Um, you're just walking into the, the G chord and that would sound something like this. I'll play it both ways, coming from C into G and coming from D into G. So you see how it works for both of them. <laughs> C into G, here's D into G. So works great either way. Um, and 
this one, all this is, is again, we're doing the little grace note, three in this case, third string with index finger to open four, index on third string, thumb on fourth string, and then you'll play second fret four with your thumb, fourth fret four with thumb, and then you land on your G. And if you want to get extra fancy with that one, you can do a choke when you get to the fourth fret of the fourth string, and that would sound like this. A little more slowly so you can hear the details. So there you go. Now you have a couple little walk-ups you can be using in jam sessions. These work great as embellishments, but I would really say that more than anything, these are going to be helpful to the other people that you're playing with. If you're playing with someone less experienced, or if you're trying to lead a tune in a jam session that not everybody knows, doing these little walk-ups is going to be really, really helpful to keep everybody in the jam on the same page. And having been on the receiving end of this many times, especially when I was just getting started, it's great skill to have. So, um, so there you go. I hope you enjoy it and have a great rest of your day.